Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, this series, one of the, if not the most disturbing series of Toho of all time, which is uh, KKTHA, and that's short for Koishi Komaji's Heart Throbbing Adventure. So, yeah, uh, nothing else much to say about the name other than uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all the other stuff. So, for this video, I want to talk about basically, like, how it should end. Because, like, right now, it's not done. The series is not even over yet. Like, I think there, I think there's, like, a couple of uh, episodes, or not episodes, but, like, there would have been a couple of videos remaining, and then the series would have ended. But, unfortunately... The creator of it kind of stopped making f stuff of it. I mean, there's been a lot of fan art of it, but the 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 funny thing is, it's not finished yet. So like, like if you if you look up to the, I mean, well, some of the episodes were deleted due to copyright and also because scenes were disturbing, but um. Yeah, the series isn't finished, so for this video, what I want to talk about is how it should end. Pretty much, like, how it should end. This is, like, all fans. It's a fan-made thing, so it's like, I can just say whatever I want. I can say, oh, I can involve my OC and all that. But, um, yeah, um, but we're not going to do that for this. What I just, I just want to say like what would have what should have happened. So So um the, ep the 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 latest episode of or the latest part of the series is I think it's the one where Koishi um goes around does something or I I I don't know when when the last time I watched it. I think it was like a year ago I did. But um yeah, um, let's just say that uh, a lot of stuff happened in that, and again, like, the things are pretty disturbing. There's, a, oh, actually, well, yeah, because there's, there's one thing where, um, well, what happened is there is, there is a, a part in one of the, in one of the, uh, in the series where Koichi puts like a hole or cuts her closed eye open <laughs> yeah but anyways back to the topic of the video yeah so how i think it should have end is tenshi who is like one of the only like her and iku right like they're the only characters who basically survived throughout the series because they've never been shown to be in it and it's like like, they need, they're, they, the person needs to, like, make another part where they appear and they just, like, destroy all the bad guys. I know Koishi is the protagonist of it, but she's kind of, like, an anti-hero. So, like, kind of like, um, Deadpool from Marvel. Although, he's not really evil. Like, he's not, like, evil, evil. He just does whatever he wants to do. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's basically Koishi in the series. Although, Yukari was also like that as well. She's also like it, apparently. She's also an anti-hero, but... She's not... Again, she's not evil. She's just... You know, she's just Yukari. And her and Koishi... I know in the series, like, they had interaction with together. And I know that most of the characters die in it. So yeah, so if you want to know like the whole story behind Koishi Komenji's Art Thorming Adventure, like you're you're gonna have to look that up for yourself. Like I barely know about it. All I know is like it, it's like what Koishi. It's like Toho, but if someone made it like really for adults. <laughs> To the point where it's like you can't have you can't have a children watching, it and it's interesting. Let me say, yeah. Um, 
So, yeah, and... It's been around, like, for... I think ever since Subterranean Animism came out, but there was other characters in it as well. Like, there was... Um... Like, some of the the new characters, like... Like, the ones, like, in uh, Legacy of Luna, Luna to Kingdom... And beyond over that. Yeah, and... And it's been around for quite a while. Don't know how long. I Now, I don't know who the creator of the series is. But all I know is that this the guy is Japanese, obviously. Because back then, Toho was, like, more popular for, like... People in Japan and the overseas, or not the overseas, but like, you know, but, um, so yeah, so what I want to think the series should have ended is Tenshi and Iku being the, one of the characters to survive. I don't know if Junko and, I mean, I know Hecate is probably still alive because like, you, Hecate is like impossible to kill, right? Moku, I think, is alive. Kaguya, I think, is alive because they're both immortal. They can't die. Um, I want. I I I want to say that. Um, I want to say maybe Aaron survives, right? Maybe she does. I don't know, but I'm not gonna spoil the deaths. Like, if you want to look up like the whole death scenes, like all the characters. Like, who dies in the series, you'll, you're, you're gonna have to look that up for yourself. Because I'm not gonna spoil it. But Raisin's death, I won't tell you how she died, but she died pretty gruesome. <laughs> and I won't tell you who killed her. I'll just say that her death is pretty violent. But yeah, so how the, the series should end is... Tenshi comes down, right? Because... As of right now, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but Tenshi, I believe, is... I, th I don't know if it's Tenshi or if it's someone else, so I, I apologize if I'm mistaken this. But Tenshi, I believe, is the only character who can actually revive people, or she's a character who can revive people. I think Moku can also revive people. I mean, if we're talking about what, what she could do in Lotus Labyrinth R... But yeah. Um yeah, I, again, I don't know if Tenshi has the ability to like revive people or if it's Moku. I I don't know who it is who can who can do that. But do let me know in the comments who who in the Toho series can revive people. Either it's Moku. Or it's uh, Tenshi. Or it can be some other character. But basically they do that. They revive like all the characters. Maybe except the bad ones. Like they revive everyone. And then. Yeah, or, like, they become, like, Shenron from Dragon Ball. They just revive everyone, and they come back to life. And then the whole world goes back to peace mode. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I would love to see something like that. Now again, like if you want, if you want to make a good animation where Mayo C just comes in and just like dominates Toyemi Watsuki because she's the so yeah. If if you don't know, but like the the Watsuki sisters and most of the Lunarians are like the bad guys. I mean, they're not really, but I know Toyemi kind of becomes the Joker in a way. Yeah. But, like, if you guys want to make, like, fan art where Mayo C just comes in and is just, like, all my from My Hero Academia and is just, like, yeah, I'm not going to let you. Or is Goku. He becomes Goku and he's, like, I'm not going to let you destroy my world.
But could you, but yeah, like, but yeah, would anyone want to see, like, what if, like, all the characters were revived in the Koishi Komiji Heartthrobbing Adventure series, and they just, like, go fight Toyohimi, because eventually it's, like, like, I mean, this is one thing, like, there's, like, many possibilities. I think next time I stream Toho, like, the next time I stream a Toho game, I might talk about that where I'll say, oh, you know what would be cool if, like, there was somehow, like, someone who could come in and just, like, change the the, the whole Komichi, Koichi Komichi's Heart Throbbing Adventure timeline. That's why we need a Toho Xenoverse game. We need a Toho Xenoverse game. Because I, f I feel like that would be fantastic. Am I not wrong? Like, that would be fantastic to have. Where we can have, like... We could play as, like... We can make our own Toho character, male or female. And we can, like, go around timelines. And one of the secret timelines is the Koishi Komaji Heart Throbbing Adventure series timeline. And we can, like, change the timeline itself where no, no, nothing bad happens. That would be really cool. Also, I apologize if this video has been long today. I want to... There's another possibility I want to talk about. Besides, you know, the characters getting all revived and... And or my OC just showing up. Either of them just, just destroying the, the Lunarians and just be like, don't do that. Yeah, um... What else? Another possibility maybe would be, like, what if... Somehow, like, Future Trunks appears and he changes the future. Because, technically speaking, like, that's what Future Trunks would do. Or, like, the time... Again, the time patrol for, like, Xenoverse 2. That'd be really cool. But the only thing is, Dragon Ball and Toho aren't really the same thing, but there's characters that are similar to each other that are from the series. Like, there's Chi-Chi, who's, the Go who's Goku's wife. She's like, what, Hong Mailing in a way? But also S Sakuya, because she's very tempered. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um... But yeah, oh yeah, and uh, do let me know in the comments below what you think you would want to happen in the Koishi Komaji's Heart Throbbing Adventure. Like, what do you want to see, like, to have it end? Like, do you want to, like, besides, like, oh yeah, the Watsusuki sisters, like, kill all the humans and stuff. Like, like a good ending kind of thing. Like, not a bad one. I mean, I know you guys want to see, like, what happens if they succeed. Yeah, and and also like again, if anyone could make either an animation or fan art of what I said earlier about my OC just coming in and just like just like just defeats uh, Toyohimi and the rest of her Lunarian army, and I'm just like the cool dude, and I just do the the standing proud thingy <laughs> that I mostly do in Jump Force. I don't know. And if you want to know my uh, my Jump Force OC, I'll have I I do have some screenshots, and I have made lots of videos and streams where I used him. So you guys should know who he. I mean, you guys obviously know who he is, right? Like I'm pretty sure that like everyone knows who my OC is and what he looks like. Yeah. And actually, I might make a whole tweet about it too, saying, "Oh, what would you want to see change in Koichi Komichi's Art Throbbing Adventure? Like, what, like, how do you want it to end? Like, do you want to have it end where like the 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 bad guys win and Earth is just doomed for eternity, or do you want like someone to come in and just like bring everyone back to life, and just um nothing happens?" That would be interesting, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. What your, what your thoughts of what how you want it to end. But anyways, that's it for the video. Um, yeah. <laughs>
will Koichi Komichi's Heart Throbbing Adventure end or come to an end? Or pretty much, will the creator just, like, I don't know, finish it? Because it's not finished. It's not. It's like, it's at the final part, but it's not done yet. So, again, let me know in the comments below how you want it to end. And more importantly, how would you want it to change or like what kind of ending you would want all right yeah so i'll have another video out it'll probably be my vod from yesterday streaming genshin or it will be my uh genshin vod i streamed the other day so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video